Okay, so here's my five fingers to the face word. For me, it's been one of those things to where, like, he already mentally prepared me for, like, in case somebody gets through a barricade that we've set up via blocking my past, right, what to do. Um, he shows me people, like, watching the videos, going through the comments, but it's, like, to study me, to kind of see, like, where I'm thinking, where I'm at. And honestly, y'all, you know, I was releasing words um, previously and when my counterfeit had kind of popped back up again before it was really like nail in the coffin, he was saying like all the right stuff, right? And at mind you, I already had the dream where the angels were showing me he was watching the videos. He was saying all the right stuff. And so one of y'all had commented that one of your exes had popped back up and you was like, ah, you know, and I was like, yeah, because you know, you know, and even if you don't know who it is, you know who it's not. You get what I'm saying? So why play with yourself like that? Why play with um, play with your life? And it's not even so much as the romantic ones either, because sometimes he'll, like, no new friends. I meant that. Like, it'll just fall on me like, nah, no, because this is what I've had to understand. And when I tell y'all my big sisters have been on it, like, they was confirming so much stuff for me, and I'm talking about pretty boss and Stephanie uh, and Kimmy, because yesterday I caught a word. I was like, girl, get out of my life. She you, she was saying the stuff that we had hit on in the prophetic venting video, okay? But anyways, um, I think Stephanie was talking about a stoplight, and then Kendra was talking about, uh, like, don't, t don't take them back. Both of them was on the same thing. But what Stephanie was getting at with the stoplight is so true. That was something that was tripping me up because it was like I had people around me, but like everything was still progressing. Okay. However, it could be progressing quickly, more quickly, if you had them at your circle, God holding up things, right? And so I I be prepared for the five fingers to the face. Some of them might not reach out whether it's romantic or a friend, some of them might. Now, give them a graceful five fingers to the face. Eh, you know, I'm good. Um, and if they ask for forgiveness or extend an apology, you know, accept it and keep it moving. But don't think because you accept an apology or whatever, or somebody's offering you an apology that you got to um, take them back. Because somebody offered me an apology mm, like a month or two ago, and it was not sincere. And had I got sucked back on in it, it would have halted my progress. And so my circle is very, very, very small right now because I want the accelerated version of what God is doing, okay? Like, I want all all gas, no brakes. And I don't want nobody slowing it up, hindering how I hear him, any of that. So not pizza before, too. Like, yeah, I still heard God. I was still having revelations when I was friends with different people. But then, like, as soon as he was, like, cut him off and I cut him off, it was like, oh, I hear way better now, though. You get what I'm saying? So just be prepared and don't be hit with the okie doke because the devil always try to okie doke. And I'm telling y'all, when my ex came back, it was like, dang, he was saying all the right things. And it's not so much as him. It's these demons, these monitoring and surveillance and, and stalking spirits that be on these people, okay? Even if they're not aware that they're on them. And so they're led to say different things because the demons know this is what this, how I'm going to trip her up. And that's already happened to me. I'm not interested in that happening again. Like sometimes people say stuff and I'm like, how I know the demons didn't tell you to say that? That's why God got to confirm it. So just be prepared for uh, five fingers to the face. Don't let the devil catch you out here slipping, okay?